My God, it's cold this morning. I'll check the thermometer this morning. And it's minus three. Minus three. Oh. Hi well, folks, welcome back to Daz Rebel Rides. By the time you get to see this video, it's probably going to be a lot warmer. As I'm filming this, this is the last week in February, and we've had a bit of a cold snap. It's certainly chilly, certainly bloody chilly. So the reason for this vlog, in particular, is my bike is going in for a little bit of work, and uh, very kindly, I'm having a Suzuki V-Strom 650 2018 model as a replacement for a week. How about that? So I might as well do a bit of a review. So this is a 2018 Suzuki V-Strom DL650 with its very comfortable seat. It's not the XT version, so it doesn't come with it handguards as standard, although this bike does have them. It's been a, a, an added extra, along with heated grips, which in this weather I'm very thankful for. But so by the time you watch this, it's probably going to be March, April time anyway, so the weather's probably going to be a lot warmer, but I'm recording this in February and it's Baltic. Right. Let's see what this ride's like, shall we? Now for a shorty like me, it's not too bad of a, a height as far as an adventure bike style goes. And the really good thing about adventure bikes is it bumps like this, it just... Dum, there you go, you hardly feel it. It's just up and down, nice and easy. It turns very quickly as well. It's because it's, it's so tall and it's got relatively skinny tyres, it is very easy to flick about it's, it's so flickable this bike I do have to scoot over the edge of the seat I'm five foot seven so a bit of a short ass I've only got a size it was probably about 28 29 inch inside leg and it is a bit of a stretch for me this bike it's like I said as far as adventure bikes go it's not too bad but just to be safe I like to scoot to the left hand side of the seat every time I come to a stop. When you're used to low bikes, getting on an adventure bike and having faith when you bank it over that it's, <laughs> it's not gonna slide out and you're not banking over too fast is a, bit of a, is a bit of a thing, I have to admit. It's a psychological thing because the bike is completely capable of doing it. But because you're a lot taller than you uh, usually are, let's just get over here. You feel like you're banking over further <laughs> than you really should be. It's something you get used to, but it's something you have to get used to if you're not used to it already. If you see what I mean. As we're changing the style of bike that you're riding all the time, is is, is little quirks and things. Someone's smoking the reefer. The really, really nice thing about the uh, the Vistrom 650 is the riding position and the comfort. It's such a comfortable bike on a long haul. It's really nice, natural, easy riding position. Here we go. There's some uh, newbies out. But it's just so easy to handle so easy to handle now <laughs> this is my problem i don't know if you can see but uh i can put two feet down just on absolute tiptoes or one foot on the ball of my feet so if you're short ass like me it's probably not a bike for brand new riders unless you've got the height something i really like about this as a as a touring bike aside from the comfort is the view because you're so high up you've got a great view and these mirrors are excellent you can see everything that's behind you it's also frugal as well i've been getting between 60 and 75 mpg out of this 
It's brilliant. Now, if you do some maths, that probably equates into what 250 mile tank ranges. That's brilliant. So we've covered handling. Handling is brilliant too, but roll on power from this punchy V twin is excellent for a for a little 650. And I know 650s used to be big bikes, but these days they're sort of mid middle in range, really, aren't they? Some people see them as small bikes even, but it's fantastic. The roll on power is absolutely awesome. The handling of this is just sublime. It's such a smooth bike. I honestly think that the the DL 650 Vostrom is enough bike for anybody. If they're being honest with their, their riding. So that's the end of my week with the V-Strom 650. It's uh, a brilliant bike. Brilliant bike, I can't fault it. B apart from the looks, which, is, you know, they're each their own with that. You see, I think half the battle of, uh, of, of owning a bike, especially if you're, you've only got the one, is wanting to open the garage and ride the thing. And for me, it's not the most attractive of bikes but then I don't find adventure bikes in general overly attractive, whereas some people do. I like to, uh, to open the garage and look at my bike and think, oh, that's a sexy looking bike. And I think if people are honest, adventure bikes don't look sexy, do they? They look, uh, they look utilitarian, they look angry and rugged. Sexy is not a, it, it, it's not an adjective that I would use. For adventure style bikes but the big question is would i own one well no <laughs> but it's not because it's a bad bike what i'm gonna say is if i had another inch just one more inch uh, on my legs just that, that tiny little bit extra then i would without without a moment's thought i would replace the r6 as my commuter with uh, with a with a brand new V Strom 650 because it's a fantastic bike it does everything better than the ER6 everything but because the, the, the Kawasaki is my winter bike I ride it in really <laughs> conditions um, I, I like to have the safety net being able to put both feet firmly on the floor and unfortunately with a V Strom it's just that little bit too tall and as soon as you start lowering these bikes it, it changes the dynamics of them, no matter how well it's done. And it becomes a different sort of bike. So, that is the only reason I wouldn't have one, is because it would be replacing my ER6 rather than being an additional bike. But I mean, it's, it's so comfy, it's tall and it's got the capacity for luggage. It, it just does everything really well. And if you are uh, a little bit taller than me, and you only need to be a little bit taller. I mean, I'm 5'7", so I'm short for a guy. I've got like I say, a 28, 29 inch inside leg, which is fairly short. If you've got a 30 and above, I'll tell you what, you'll have no problems at all with a V-Strom uh, 650 or the Thou. And I seriously recommend checking them out because it is a fantastic bike. I just wish I had longer legs. And with that, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, then, well, you can always give it a thumbs down, but leave a comment and let me know why. And uh, in fact, leave me any comments, any comments you like, just stick them down the bottom there and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, and as always, if you like to ride, be sure to subscribe and ding that notification bell. I think that's the end of the video, guys. Right, let's do this. Uh, let's do this. Yes, there. Yes! There we go. Right, I think that's the end of the video. Bye!